Google just dropped VO 3.1 and it's wild. The videos look more cinematic, the motion smoother, and the physics finally feel natural. Anthropic fired back with Claude Haiku 4.5, a smaller model that somehow runs twice as fast for a third of the cost. Kong built an AI agent toolkit called Volcano that literally ordered 900 coffees live on stage. And then Andre Karpathy came in and dropped a full chat GPT style model you can train from scratch. Four hours, a hundred bucks, and it actually works. All right, so starting with Google because VO 3.1 just landed and it's a big one. After weeks of leaks and rumors, Google finally confirmed its next gen AI video model now available inside Flow and through the Gemini API. It's not just an upgrade in quality, it's a serious leap in control. The videos look more cinematic, the physics are cleaner, and you can finally generate full audio right inside the tool. Dialogue, ambient sounds, even emotional tone. The city always got a story. Just gotta listen. All synced automatically. Earlier versions could add sound in limited ways, but now it's built directly into every feature. So you don't have to handle audio separately anymore. VO 3.1 sits inside Flow, Google's AI filmmaking playground, but it's also in the Gemini API for developers and is coming soon to Vertex AI for enterprise grade workflows. Pricing stayed the same, 40 cents per second for the standard model, 15 cents for the fast one, no free tier, pay only if it actually generates. It outputs 720p or 1080p at 24 frames per second, up to roughly two and a half minutes if you use the extend feature, which literally keeps building from the last frame of your previous clip. That's a big deal for continuity. The control options go deep. You can feed it text, images, or video clips, stack up to three reference images to lock in visual style, interpolate between the first and last frame for seamless transitions, or even extend an action beyond the current shot. They added insert and remove tools too, so you can drop new objects or wipe elements mid-scene, though those aren't fully live on the API yet. Enterprise users can keep visual consistency across entire campaigns. Upload one product image and VO 3.1 will make sure it looks the same in every generated shot. Google says users begged for better editing tools. So now Flow lets you tweak scenes without rebuilding them. For creative teams, that's basically the difference between prototyping an idea and producing it at scale. And they made sure the model is responsible Every VO 3.1 clip carries an invisible synth ID watermark and gets filtered for copyright or privacy risks. Content is temporarily stored for two days and then deleted unless you download it. Early reactions are mixed, but interesting. Some users love the new creative control. Others feel OpenAI's Sora 2 still looks more natural. Matt Schumer from Other Side AI called VO 3.1 noticeably worse than Sora 2, but admitted the editing tools are impressive. 3D artist Travis Davids praised the sound quality but complained about missing custom voices and the 8 second cap on bass generations. Others called it amazing, though still ranks Sara higher overall. Basically, Google improved usability and integration, but the race for realism is heating up fast. Now, the spooky season is right around the corner, and what's really keeping people up at night isn't ghosts, it's AI. 71% of people believe artificial intelligence could replace their jobs for good. But here's the thing, you can stop that from happening. I've partnered with Outskill, one of the first AI-focused education platforms to help you future-proof your career. They're hosting a free two-day AI mastermind workshop this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Normally, it costs $395, but for the next 48 hours, I've unlocked 1,000 free seats just for my audience as part of their Halloween sale. And this isn't some dull lecture. It's a hands-on AI training where you'll actually build and automate real projects. You'll learn to use powerful AI tools, apply AI in Excel, Sheets, and presentations, create AI agents, and streamline your workflow. You'll also get access to a private learning dashboard with other creators, plus tons of valuable bonuses, including a prompt Bible, an AI monetization roadmap, and a personalized toolkit builder. Seats are limited, so hit the link in the description, join the WhatsApp community, and get ready before it's too late.
All right, now while Google is chasing cinematic realism, Anthropic went in the direction of smaller, faster, and cheaper. Claude Haiku 4.5 just dropped, and it's wild how efficient it is. Think of it as a compact version of Claude Sonnet 4.5, the Frontier model that came out two weeks ago, but running at double the speed and one third the cost. Five months ago, Sonnet 4 was their top tier model. Now that same level of coding power fits into a lightweight Haiku model priced at just $1 per million input tokens and $5 per million output. Haiku 4.5 actually beats Sonnet 4 on certain tasks, especially anything that involves direct computer use. So, real-time assistants, chatbots, customer service agents, or coding co-pilots all feel snappier. Anthropic even suggests pairing them. Sonnet 4.5 breaks a big project into steps, then coordinates multiple Haiku 4.5 models to run subtasks in parallel. That's full multi-agent orchestration built in. The model's benchmark data is solid, real coding performance on SWE Bench. Verified hovers around the same level as much bigger systems, and latency is impressively low. It's available everywhere, the Claude API, Claude Code, Amazon Bedrock, and even Google Cloud's Vertex AI as a drop-in replacement for Haiku 3.5. So if you are using the older one, just switch endpoints and you're good. What's even more interesting is safety. Anthropic ran a massive battery of alignment tests and found that Haiku 4.5 showed lower rates of misaligned behavior than both Sonnet 4.5 and Opus 4.1. In plain English, it's their safest model yet. It earned an AI Safety Level 2 certification, less restrictive than the Level 3 assigned to their top frontier models, meaning they're confident enough to release it broadly. They even stress tested it for CBRN risk, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and flagged only limited hazards. All the nerdy details are in its system card, including every dataset and prompt variant used across benchmarks like SWE Bench, Terminal Bench, Tau2 Bench, AIME, OS World, and MMMLU. This whole frontier meets efficiency approach says a lot about where AI is heading. Anthropic now lets you mix models like ingredients, Premium reasoning from Sonnet, real-time execution from Haiku. It's not about having one giant brain anymore. It's about teamwork between specialized minds. All right, now Kong just dropped something that could totally change how developers build AI agents. It's called Volcano, and it's kind of insane. Basically, it's an open source toolkit that lets you build your own smart AI assistants, and you can do it in just a few lines of code. Here's why it's such a big deal. Most of the older frameworks like Langchain or Haystack were made before this new standard called MCP, that's Model Context Protocol, even existed. MCP is what allows AI models to talk to tools, APIs, and databases all in the same language. Those older frameworks had to bolt it on afterward, but Volcano was built for it from day one. That means everything connects cleaner and faster without weird setup steps. At the API Summit in New York, Kong CTO Mark Palladino did a live demo and it blew everyone's minds. He told the crowd to scan a QR code and instantly an AI agent built with Volcano took everyone's name and location and placed over 900 coffee orders at nearby shops. The whole thing ran on just 15 lines of code. That's ridiculous. Volcano is MCP native, so it plugs straight into Anthropic, OpenAI, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, all the big ones, and it can mix them mid-task. Like one step might go to Claude Sinet for reasoning, then the next step switches to a smaller, faster model, it figures out the best one automatically, and it can even create smaller sub-agents that other agents reuse, kind of like building a whole AI ecosystem that runs itself. Kong CEO Augusto Marietti also announced new MCP upgrades inside their AI gateway, which is basically the control center for all this. It can now take any API you manage and automatically turn it into an MCP server, so it's ready for AI use right away. They added centralized security with a new MCP OAuth plugin, and even an AI integration composer that helps you discover and connect smart APIs like building blocks. It's a full pipeline. Build it, secure it, deploy it. 
Volcano is fully open source, and Kong's already calling for developers to join in. Even in this early stage, it's easily one of the cleanest, simplest frameworks for agent building out there. It's like they took the messy, overcomplicated Langchain graphs and turned them into one smooth TypeScript flow that just works. And while all that's happening on the enterprise side, Henri Karpathy, the former Tesla and OpenAI guy, just reminded everyone what open source is supposed to look like. He released something called NanoChat, and it's basically a mini chat GPT that you can train from scratch in about four hours for around 100 bucks. It's a super lightweight setup, about 8,000 lines of code, but it does everything. Training, fine tuning, testing, even running the chatbot through a clean little web interface. You just run one command and it builds the entire thing automatically. He tested it on a machine with eight H100 GPUs that cost $24 an hour to rent, so the whole four hour run costs right under 100 bucks. When it's done, it spits out a full report showing exactly how your model performed on reasoning, math, coding, and chat. The coolest part is you can see how it learns. It trains in three steps. First, it learns general language patterns. Then it goes through conversations, multiple choice problems, and even a bit of math using small Python snippets. Finally, it fine tunes itself on high quality chat data so it feels more natural when responding. There's even an optional fourth step where it basically learns from its own mistakes, a lighter version of the reinforcement learning OpenAI uses, but simple enough that anyone can understand what's happening under the hood. And yeah, the results are shockingly good for something this small. It can chat, solve problems, and even write bits of code. If you spend a bit more, like $300, you can scale it up to beat GPT-2's performance. And around 1000 bucks gets you something that actually starts reasoning pretty well. Everything's transparent, no hidden black boxes, no mystery data pipelines. You can open every file and literally see how the whole system works. Tokenizer, training, evaluation, everything. For small teams, indie devs, or anyone who wants to learn how large language models actually function, this is perfect. Anyway, that's the full update. Which one do you think changes the game the most? VO 3.1 Storytelling Control, Haiku 4.5 Speed, Volcano's Agent Framework, or Carpathy's $100 ChatGPT. Drop it in the comments, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.